Hello Year 3, this is Mrs Norris here taking you through your English for this week and today is Monday the 4th of May. Now in the Google Drive folder you will find um, some spellings, the PDF document for these slides and a links document that lists all the different web links that will be relevant to today's lesson. Okay, so each day we're going to have a spag starter. Um, today's focus is on verbs. Now some really useful resources on the BBC um, Bite Size. We quite often use these in class. Is there short, sharp video clips or activities um, which are retrieval activities for most of you to help you practice and bring to the forefront of your memory what we have been learning about. So this web link here will take you to the page. I'd like you to complete the verbs, uh, listen to the verbs video and then complete activity one only today as this should only be a five to ten minute activity that you complete. So if I show you the page, this is the page. There's the video clip. Just have a little read, read through this section and then scroll down to this practice activity one um, reminder. OK, and those are the two activities I'd like you to do today. OK, moving on then. Our focus this week is going to be poetry, in particular a list poem. Um, it is for yourself and the reason why we're doing it is to be as creative as possible. It doesn't have to be things that are real, it can be using your imagination as well, making it fun. Our writing journey, just so that you can see Um, where we are today is explore as a reader. Tomorrow we're going to explore as a writer and start looking at descriptive language, um, imagery. Then we'll do another lesson linked to those two things um, and also planning. Then we will draft, write our poem itself and then edit and publish at the end of the week. OK, so our poem. I can explore a list poem as a reader. Here is our poem, Wishes. We'll complete the quick quiz once we've had a look through the poem itself. So take a moment to just read through the poem or you can listen to me and I'll read it for you. I wish I were a river meandering through the vales. I wish I were the North Star navigating rough oceans. I wish I were a diary filled with secrets and honest thoughts. I wish I were a fresh idea born from, methodic, from a methodical mind. I wish I were a parent's pride dis, dispire, despaired through tears of joy. I wish I could care caress a cloud as it kisses a sapphire sky. I wish I could ride a dragon across the sun-kissed valleys. I wish I could bottle happiness and quench misery thirsts. Misery's thirsts. I wish I knew the answers to the questions that I face. I wish I could explore my dreams, my journeys of desire. Okay, so that's somebody's wishes and dreams poem. Quick quiz for you. Here are the questions. If you get a whiteboard and pen or a piece of paper and a pencil, I'll read them through and then you have a go at answering them. You can pause the video so that you can answer as um, and then check the answers through. Question one, what does the writer want to bottle? Question two, the parent has tears of what? Question three. What is put in the diary? Question four. What does the writer want to explore? Question five. How does the North Star help? And question six. What colour is the sky? 
So pause here while you use the poem to find those quick quiz questions. So here we are, here are your answers. I've highlighted them here and written them underneath for you to go through and check. So pause here while you complete that. So exploring as a reader. Things to think about today. What do you understand by what you have read? What does it remind you of? What does it make you feel when you look at the picture and reading the words? And evaluate. What judgments have you made about the poem? Now, everybody will take something a little bit different from reading the poem. So it's what you feel, what you think and what you have inferred. So pause while you just ha make some notes or just have a discussion. OK, so what emotions might you be feeling? You might be thinking this could be similar to a dream that you have had, something you might want to do, something that you do also do now. What do you understand? So those wishes there are wishes that someone has of something they might want to do one day. Um, what they want to be. And they're all captured inside that jar. All those dreams, all those wishes. Did you like the poem? What did you like? Did you not like it? What part didn't you like? Discuss those questions and pause whilst you do that. Okay, so these are two children's, that's Joshua and Archie's, own interpretation of a wish poem. So a little bit different to the one you've just read. The one was done by an adult on the previous page. This one is done by, ch these two are done by children. I wish I could run as fast as a cheetah. I wish I could ride the largest blue whale. I wish I could train a night fury and fly through the sky like a dragon rider. I wish I were a parrot squawking through the sky. I wish I could see my mum's and dad's faces smiling at me. You continue to read that through. I've got Archie's over here. He has put I wish I was a monkey jumping from the trees I wish I could hear electricity crackling in the distance I wish I could touch the sun's brightness shining like a torch in the darkness okay you can carry on reading you can start from the beginning or you can carry on from what I have left off so if you pause the video and have a go at doing that Okay, so this is a little bit different to the first poem that you've read. It's a little bit more fun and things possibly that they might not ever do because it's a little bit more imagery, imagination. Um, but connections have been made there with possibly stories that they've read and they've thought that that, that that might be something that they might want to do. There's also some real life connections here. So talk about football, Archie's, um, chocolate. Um, the moon, we know lots of those things are all real. Will they ever get to do it? They might one day. So, how to read a poem. Keys to success. What do you think is important when you read a poem? How should you read it? We've done some poetry before. We it was one about a dragon that we had a go at reading through. Um, it was a rhyming poem. This one isn't a rhyming poem though. So pause here and make a note on your whiteboard or on a um, piece of paper. Okay, here we go. So emphasis on keywords. Which keywords in particular should it be? Sometimes it's easier to identify those quicker than others. Read with rhythm. 
Sometimes the pace might be fast, sometimes it might be slow. Pause for effect. Re -re read for impact. It might be that you have to read it loudly or it might be that you have to read it quietly. And I think which of those key things are important to the poem that we have got this week? The I Wish poem. What do you think? Okay, let's go back and have a little look. I think that the element of reading fairly slow here so that it gives the the reader a chance to create a picture in their mind about what the wish is telling them so I, I would put a picture in my head of somebody running as fast as a cheetah so there'd be some element of pausing possibly here when you read it through First line is always the same. But the first two words, three words are always the same. So we could read those quite quickly. We could read them slow. Have a little practice. Either have a look at this page or the previous page here. You choose and have a go at practicing reading these two poems. Okay. So today's lesson, exploring as a reader, a list poem. I hope it gets you thinking about what you might put in your poem. What would you wish for? have a think then tomorrow's lesson we are going to be looking at exploring as a writer thinking about keys to success for this particular type of poetry and what uh, language and this what the structure of the poem looks like thank you year three look forward to seeing you tomorrow